Behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will raise up for David a righteous branch, a righteous, not an unrighteous branch like these other shepherds. And that one will reign as king and deal wisely and shall execute justice and righteousness in the land. In his days, Judah will be saved and Israel will dwell securely. And this is the name by which he will be called. The Lord is our righteousness. We get this glimmer of hope, even in the darkest of days, that God is gonna bring healing through instituting a good leader, a good shepherd, one who will not harm the flock, one that will not lead the flock to sin and to hard days, but one that will lead the flock through hard days to a better land where there is no brokenness, where there is no evil, where there is no death. And that shepherd we know has a name. And his name is Jesus. Jesus himself, in the book of John, referred to himself as the good shepherd. The one who looks out for his sheep. And unlike the shepherds in Lamentations 4 who were covered with the blood of the innocent, Our good shepherd was willing to give his blood for the sheep. Where the sheep would have sinned and where the sheep would have strayed, our good shepherd put his life on the line to protect the sheep, to show them God's way, to show them a better way. And church, we have reason to hope because our shepherd has already set about making things right. He has looked death in the face. He has looked sin in the face. He has looked all brokenness in the face and took it on himself and defeated it so that one day those who would trust in him can defeat it. And so there is no leader that we have to put our trust in other than Jesus. We can worship alongside and benefit from those who God would give us and as leaders, We should follow him. We should walk in his way. When you are looking in your church for leaders, you should look for people who love God, who love his church, who love people, and who are constantly pointing to the good shepherd. Like John the Baptist, saying, I am not the one, he is the one. These are the leaders that we should look for. And this is the leader that God has given us. He has come as a person to lead us himself into better pastures. And so, yes, feel free to lament and do repent, but don't feel like you are gonna stay in the valley forever because our good shepherd is gonna lead us to green pastures one day. He has created and will bring about a new kingdom, a new heaven, and a new earth one that will not be marked by death, one where children will have plenty, where the lion will lay down with the lamb, and that is where we are going when we put our faith and our trust in him. And even now, we can hope in that. And so today, what do we do? Until that day comes, when we encounter brokenness, we lament. It is good, that is a tool in the tool belt that God's spirit gives us to walk through the valley is to be able to lament. And so it's good and right that we study Lamentations because it gives us that tool to be able to lament. We also repent. We look for places in our lives where we are not loving God with our whole heart. We look for places in our lives where we are not loving our neighbor as ourselves. And we repent of those realities because sin is serious. But church, we don't stop there. We ultimately put our hope today in God to bring healing through the work of his good shepherd who will lead us to better days. Would you pray with me? Father, we thank you 
we thank you that even in the valley, you are present with us. We thank you for the gift of being able to lament hard moments. That is a help. And we ask that you would help us to be good citizens of the world, the people in brokenness, to be able to empathize with them. When we encounter our own hard moments, that you would help us to feel free and able to lament. We ask that your spirit would be on the move in this room, showing us areas that even we should repent of. And we ask that you would turn our eyes ultimately off of ourselves, off of our situations and onto you. And help us to trust that even in darkness, you can bring light. And you have already through the work of your son. Help us to look at him now and rejoice and hope for healing. We ask that in the name of the Father, and in the Son, and in the Holy Spirit. Amen. Will you stand for our hymn of invitation? Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Thank you for being with us this morning. Have a wonderful and blessed week. God bless.